But ships of Operation Safe Haven have uh, made yet another significant breakthrough with the discovery of an illegal weapons manufacturing factory operating in Plateau State. Two individuals were apprehended and a significant number of weapons were discovered and dismantled. Tips News correspondent Funam Joshua reports. The proliferation of arms and ammunition in the wrong hands contributes largely to the challenge of insecurity in some communities in Plato State. The chief of army staff during his last visit to the state gave amnesty to individuals with arms to hand over to security operatives. But he ordered operatives to intensify their efforts on the illegal act after the period given. Is that clear? Yes, sir! We have youths carrying illicit small arms and light weapons all over the place here in Mambo and the entire Plateau State. And I want to warn this afternoon that if you have a word, you have your children carrying weapons, please call them to order as quickly as possible. Collect those weapons from them and submit them to the military. If you don't do that, they will get killed. Criminals have taken advantage of the insecurity to perpetrate criminal acts. An illegal weapons manufacturing factory was recently discovered and raided by the Operation Safe Haven. The spokesperson of the Operation Safe Haven spoke to journalists on the items seized and displayed. Preliminary investigation revealed that the arrested individual, Michael Dong, 33 years old, and Yusuf Pam, 43 years old, were involved in the illegal production of different calibers of weapons locally fabricated in Vom, just south local government area of Plateau State, from where they sell to their customers in different parts of the country. These weapons pose a grave threat to the security and stability of the state and the nation at large. Two individuals were apprehended and large cages of weapons were dismantled. My major customers are two people. Some are from Mangu. Two of them are from Mangu. The other one, he just come. They just come. They come to the house and pick it and go. I am the person that gave my house rented to the Michael Doom for the preparing of these weapons. The General Officer Commanding Trade, Trade Division Nigerian Army and Commander Operation Safe Heaven, Major General A. E. Abubakar, while appreciating the Chief of Army Staff for his strategic guidance that has led to the huge success, recently recorded also commended the dedication, bravery, and tireless effort of the troops who have been working relentlessly to ensure the security and well-being of citizens. The leadership of Operation Safe Heaven says the task force will stop at nothing to restore normalcy and peace to all crisis communities in the state. The commander of Operation Safe Heaven urges operatives of the special task force to increase the tempo in the fight against insecurity bedeviling some parts of the state. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.